What's up guys, TechPocket here and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Windows 10 onto your Mac. So this is the easiest way and the best way to get Windows 10 on your Mac. So let's get started. In order to get Windows 10 onto your Mac, you need to have two basic things. First one is a USB driver in order to install all the drivers into it, Windows 10 drivers. And the second one is a DVD driver in order to burn Windows 10 ISO. I recommend you to have a 4.7 GB of, of space. So the first thing to do is to go on your web browser and go on this website right here. So scroll down and where it says downloads links, uh, find the language that you want and click on it and download the 64 bit. Or if you download this, this one you won't be able to install the drivers in. so make sure to download this one so click download and after the download has been finished uh, find the download and drag it into the the uh, desktop then uh, go on again on your web browser and go on this link right here so the links of the of these two websites are in the description so make sure to look to look there and to get them and download the bootcamp support software uh, 5.1.5.6.2.1 or whatever it is and hit download it would say it takes some time to download then after you have downloaded this uh, bootcamp support take the so look for the bootcamp support 5.1 and drag it onto the USB so make sure you have plugged in your USB onto your Mac so after you have done, done these operations, then go on Disk Utility. And now we are going to create a new partition in order to install Windows 10 into it. So go on this disk uh, driver, go on Partition, and create a new partition. I'm going to hit the plus button in order to create and resize it if you want. So I'm going to resize it to uh, 20 gigabytes okay 20 gigabytes and I'm gonna name it bootcamp and these are very useful things so make sure to change it to Windows NT file thing in order to install Windows to it and hit apply so this will after you have finished please take your DVD drive and insert it into your Mac and after after that go again on disk utility and go on where it says burn and from here you need to select you need to find the image to burn but actually we're going to find where is the windows 10 ISO so there it is I'm gonna drag it into it and I'm gonna hit burn so I have already done it so I'm not gonna do it uh, again so so this will take again some time to complete and after you have done, after the burn has been completed, now you have Windows 10 onto your DVD drive. So what you need to do right now is to reboot your computer. So let's go ahead and restart our computer. So click restart, hit restart and now keep holding ALT or option key which is located next to the control key keep going like that so this is the uh, the windows uh, disk and click on that hit enter and this would take some time to boot up with the CD drive so please pay attention until it has been completed so after about 10 to 15 minutes, my DVD driver decided to finally boot Windows 10. And now, just if you want to change it, uh, it's unnecessary, and hit next. And now just hit I accept the listed items, hit next. And this is very important, hit custom install Windows only, advanced. And then find the partition that you have made it previously. So the partition is uh, 
This one, this is the partition that I created recently and I named it Bootcamp and hit Format. So this is very, very important. Hit OK and this takes uh, some slow time. OK and hit Next. So this is very important to format the partition that you have created or this actually won't boot up. And this will take some time, about 5 to 10 minutes, in order to complete the installation. Then, Windows 10 will boot up automatically. And now, Windows 10 will reboot automatically. So, as Windows 10 is rebooting, make sure to keep holding Alt in order to go to select again Windows 10 in order to complete the installation. So now you are free to uh, eject your uh, DVD drive because it's not it's necessary right now, you don't need it anymore. So now hold Alt, keep holding Alt, and after, after that we'll see, uh, okay, something, something, oh there we go, so this is Windows, so click on that and now your Mac will be reboot to Windows 10 so this will take some time to reboot so my Mac reboot again uh, after I opened uh, Windows from here so I forgot to tell you that this might reboot several times uh, usually two times so make sure to hold Alt in order to get to go again to Windows so again I hold Alt after it rebooted and I'm gonna select Windows. So of course this takes some time in order to complete. So so finally Windows 10 you're now on setup screen. So hit uh, express your settings or customize. So I'm gonna hit customize. Uh, so next, uh, next, next. So if you want just uh, set the settings if you want. So I'm gonna name myself MacBook and I'm not gonna put a bad password right now because it's for only test just a test and as you can see the high logo yep says uh, setting things up to you you can get through new apps from the store so the store is a uh, the beta one isn't the complete one and it says installing your app, so this will take some time again. And finally, Windows 10 decided to boot up. So, right now, the last thing that you need to do is to install the drivers onto your computer. So, this is the last thing that you need to do. So, go ahead, take your USB drive and plug it into your Mac, and there you go. Your Windows 10 has actually recognized your USB drive. From here, type my PC. Oh, this PC, sorry. And go on Win Install. And this, and go on Bootcamp 5.1 or whatever it is. Go on Bootcamp and go and hit Setup. And this will set up your drivers for you. And if you see this message right here, go on Drivers and install them manually so go ahead and uh, take them one to one so for example real take hit real take setup and hit yes and this should actually install the drivers of real take the real take is the wi-fi one and you can do it from each of these drivers so this won't take that long so this for an, an example here uh, i'm gonna set up the one driver of wi-fi and and I hope that the others will work too, but unfortunately for this model, for this Mac model, I have prob I have a trouble with uh, the sound, so it doesn't install the sound driver. So after you have done, make sure to re restart your computer. But you but actually it's a better idea to do to install all the drivers and then restart your computer. So after you have done, after you have installed all the drivers to Windows 10 then you are ready to use Windows 10 and actually that was it that was all the method that you have to do so if you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please make sure to subscribe to my channel to watch my latest videos my latest tutorials 
and also make sure to follow me on Twitter and like my Facebook fan page to watch my latest videos, my latest tutorials and also my latest activities. Thanks for watching and I'm gonna see you next time.